Hi, hello, mabuhay. Welcome to my channel, Norika on Camera. It's me again, Norika Clem, saying mabuhay. Okay, guys, it's raining outside and um, there's a sun right now. It's a beautiful day here in the bay. And um, by the way, guys, I uh, before I forget, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and on my YouTube channel, Norika on Camera. Also on my TikTok, Norika Clam, my Instagram, Norika Clam, and then my Twitter, Norika Clam. Okay, and don't forget the bell button out uh, down there, not up there, down there for further notifications of, you know, coming videos, new videos of mine. So, diba? Bye! I'll see you. Um, we're, we're gonna have a uh, new topic today regarding how to keep your vagina clean for for, for post-op trans women. Hi guys, I'm back. So today, my topic is all about vagina. I am a post-op transgender woman and I had my surgery back in 2018 with Dr. Toby Meltzer in Scottsdale, Arizona. I'm happy with my I'm happy with my vagina right now. It's nice, it's cute and um I love it and um it it's really um what do you call that? It's really um I don't know how to explain it, but I felt very um blessed and grateful that um you know, I have this surgery with um Dr. Toby Mel. So with in regards with my uh with uh my vagina or and also for all this also this topic is also for uh those post of transgender women out there and to all the you know those transgender who wants to do a SRS in the future. So this might help you. Uh this is uh, a tip for all of you. So it's like um what do you call this? Uh, with the genetic, what do you call this? It's like genetic women. We are ma women too, of course. We are very special women. And and um, so, um, uh, how do I keep my vagina clean? So, especially, I think um, it's uh, the same with genetic women. And uh, they have vagina. And, uh, you know, how they clean it. It's the same with us how we clean our vaginas and also when I take a shower um, if I took a shower or take a shower I don't use a soap or like a regular soap or a body wash down there because it might irritate my vagina so I always try to use uh, I can recommend you um, I have tried many uh, you know uh, cleansing wash uh, vaginal wash so i think um what i'm using right now is summer's eve this is what i use right now it's summer's eve and uh it's a blissful escape i like the smell of this it's a cleansing wash uh for sensitive skin and i really love it and before i go to bed i wash my vagina before i you know i go to bed especially you know after you know working like eight hours or 16 hours from the hospital you know, in fairness, with this uh, vaginal wash, Summer's Eve, Blissful Escape Cleansing Wash, uh, this is five in one. It means that um, cl clinically tested uh, safe scents remove uh, odor causing bacteria and also pH balance, free from dyes and parabens, and gently cleanses and f fresh freshens your vagina so i think i recommend this most of girls and women out there are using this and uh as opposed to transgender women i can recommend you one of this or buy one of this this is not a paid sponsor product but uh this is what i use this is an honest review that uh you know and i'm uh, telling to you and i love the smell of this blissful escape and also sometimes i used to have this a uh, peri wash i used to bring this every day just to wash my vagina because it smells uh it smells bad down there when you don't wash or you just wipe it so i really rinse it with water with my vagina so it's i always bring this this is my best friend and um it really helps 
uh, for uh, the smells because of the urine. And also guys, when it comes to underwear, I always use cotton uh, underwear so that it's um, it doesn't absorb moisture down there. So to prevent infections and uh, uh, bacteria, you should wear a cotton um, in order to avoid those. You, sorry. You should wear uh, cotton underwear and don't wear any kind of textile. Uh, not unless it's cotton because uh, we don't want our vagina smells bad. And each, you know, it, it will become itchy. Sorry, it will become itchy and uh, it will cause bacteria and moisture and sweats down there. So I really highly recommend to have a cotton underwear. And I think that's one of the best thing that we can use as women and a post of transgender women out there use a coat and panty underwear and lastly guys if you don't really wash it very well it's kind of itchy right i think it's from the urine or something like that so you better wash it so to prevent uh, itchiness and infection always wash your vagina every day make it clean make it fresh especially especially guys listen before and after sex always clean your vagina okay guys i hope you have a good day today and please don't forget to like share subscribe on my youtube channel noriko on camera bye bye thank you guys for watching please subscribe on my youtube channel sorry tiktok instagram and twitter thank you guys for watching